We get a good look at Lefty Grizzell at the University of Maryland. Good to see him out here tonight. It's great to see him. That's a, a historical figure in the gym right now. And yeah. Legendary uh, teams that he had at Maryland, the Lefty Grizzell Hex. Remember that when he used to put the X up and oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> two opposing well, players what? shooting free throws late in the game. Because I grew I grew up here in D.C. and I would uh, couldn't wait. You talking about summer ball? Yeah. I used to go to his uh, Maryland basketball camp and he couldn't have been nicer. Yeah. You know you, you go into a camp you think oh he's just going to show up the first day and talk right. and then go and come back on Friday. He was there the whole time. He's just a great guy and it's good to see him out here tonight. But yeah he was very animated on the sidelines to say the least. You see him over there. He's enjoying this as much as he's enjoyed any coaching assignment he's had in his career. It's great to see him here. All right, let's bring in the uh, head coach of the Maryland Ball Stars. A real pleasure to talk with uh, Lefty Drizel as he is uh, joining us here at the break. Coach, uh, thanks for coming on. What do you think of the first half? Well, I thought we played pretty good most of the time. But toward the end of the half, we started taking qu quick shots, and we didn't play the clock well. And, and they got too many layups and easy baskets. They, we got to make them uh, stop from getting the ball inside and penetrating. But, you know, we, we got to, what, eight, we should have had a 14, 15 point lead. I told them I want 110 points. But <laughs> we got to play defense. We're not playing that good a defense. But we shoot the ball pretty well. I hope we can keep it up. Did you say something to Adrian Bowie and Eric Etherly at the beginning of the game because they were able to get out on the break? and get you guys that early cushion. Well, you know, I tell you, let's run. Every time we get the ball, get it to the point guard and push it. So we did a good job of that and got a lot of easy baskets and made some threes and looked pretty good. And toward the end of the half, I, I think we got a little tired and they started forcing some shots, which I don't like. But we got to play better this half. So, Coach, how does it feel to be back on the uh, sidelines? <laughs> It feels all right. I wish I'd make it $2 million like the coaches are. You know, when I, when I went to Maryland, my salary was 14000 Jeez. You know, if, I, if I'd come from Davidson to Maryland, now I'd be making $3 million. <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, no, I, I've had my fun, and it's been a lot of fun. I'm f having fun tonight if we can win. I, I told him I ain't playing games to lose. All right, Coach, so, thank you so much, man, and we appreciate it. All right, the left-hander left to Drizel as his Ball Stars have an eight-point lead here at the break, 58-50. Second half, straight ahead.